a jazz Christmas carol, written and presented by Alan Barnes. Thank <laughs> you. 
with Scrooge's partner. And did Scrooge know he was dead? Of course he did. They'd been two kindred spirits. That evening, Scrooge took a melancholy dinner in a melancholy tavern and went home into his gloomy suite of rooms. Sounds like a night out in Nottingham. <laughs> then explain to me how it happened that Scrooge, having his key in the lock of the door, saw in the knocker, without it undergoing any intermediate process of change, not a knocker, but Marley's face. It had a dismal light about it, like a bad lobster in a dark cellar. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing on the back of the door except the nuts and screws that held it together, so Scrooge said, Poof, oh, and closed it with a bang. It's humbug still, said Scrooge. I won't believe it. The cellar door flew open with a booming sound, and he heard the noise on the floor below, then coming up the stairs, then coming straight along the passage towards his door. It was Marley in his pigtail usual waistcoat, tied some boots with a chain clasped around his middle. He'd just come back from his trip to Anne Summers. <laughs> you shouldn't get that. <laughs> it, was, it was long and wound about him, like a tail made of cash boxes, keys, padlocks, ledgers, deeds and heavy purses wrought in steel. His body was transparent. Scrooge looked through his waistcoat and could see the two buttons on his coat behind. Scrooge had often heard it said that Marley had no barrels, but he had never believed it until now. Now we're going to play a piece called Marley's Ghost. It starts off with Les, who is going to be the ghost for a while. It starts off with him rattling his chains. Give us a sample, Les, before you start. They were taken from a man who was wearing that round his neck in Nottingham. <laughs> and then when the trombonist, I'm not talking about the trombonist, when the ghost appears at the top of the stairs, it turns out he's tall, good looking, plays the trombone rather well. Here we go, Marley's ghost. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you.